What's going on, everybody? Patriot Stacker here. So I just recently went to Columbus, Ohio. I had to go out there for my job, and I had a little bit of downtime, so I figured I'd try to find a local coin shop. Uh, my hotel was in North Arlington, Ohio, which is just outside Columbus, and I found a nice little mom-and-pop shop. Uh, they were called North Arlington Coins and Jewelry. It was a small shop, but he had some pretty cool stuff. And they had, a, you know, a handful of 90% and some, some different uh, generic silver. They had some eagles and some maples and Krugerrands, things like that. Uh, so I was looking. They didn't really have anything that really sparked my interest. But I did ask him if he had any Mexican Libertads. And he said that he had a few. So I was really excited about that. And he didn't seem like... You know, he thought they were anything special, so I kind of assumed that he might not be putting a big premium on those, which I was excited about as well. So I asked him what he had, he showed me, and I ended up buying all of his Libertads, and even another older Mexican silver coin as well. So I have them all down here on the table. Let's take a look at what I got out in Columbus, Ohio. Stay tuned. All right, so here's everything I picked up at the coin shop in North Arlington, Ohio. I got six Libertads, but I also got one of these older Onzas, and I just think these are great. This is a 1979. It says Casa de Moneda de Mexico. Really beautiful coin. It's got some nice toning going on. And here it says Una Onza Troy de Plata Pura. And it's kind of interesting because it says... Uh, you know, una onza troy plata pura, so one ounce uh, pure silver, but it's actually, as you see here, the law 925. So they're actually sterling silver, but it has 33 point, what is that, 625 or 825 grams. So it is one troy ounce of silver, but it's 925. So it's kind of interesting that it says pure silver on it but it's actually sterling, not three nines or four nines silver. But still, I love these. I think they are so cool. You know, I only have a few of those in my collection, so I was really excited to pick one of those up. But he also had uh, six Libertads. They're all the same year, but that's okay. They're all 2012s, and they're all in great shape. Uh, they came in uh, like Mylar flips, little plastic flips. I put all these coins in the capsules when I got home. Uh, but they were all from Atmex. Uh, they were labeled Atmex on the flip. So somebody probably paid 40 bucks or $50 a piece for these things and then went and sold them for right over spot price. Who knows, you know, what they sold them for. But I was excited to pick them up because uh, the coin shop was charging $6 over spot. And that's typically what I'm paying, you know, at my local coin shops. You know, so you're looking right now, spot price is around $25. So you're looking at $31 or so dollars an ounce. And, you know, paying around 30 bucks or so for a Libertad, I think is a great deal. I mean, right now you you can, they're selling these on JM Bullion, as well as Atmex and SD Bullion, a couple places. And they're like $45 to $50 each, which is quite a bit of a premium, you know, just for just for a three nines silver coin. Of course, the Libertads, some of them have lower mintages. They're very popular. You know, they're, they're kind of hard to find, especially at a decent price. So he had six of them available. I bought them all uh, for $6 over spot. I think that was pretty good considering. Uh, so I was really excited about that. You know, the guy was very nice at the coin shop. Um, I asked him about some other stuff to see if he had some better deals on certain things like constitutional silver. He was at $22 times face, which wasn't too bad considering what uh, what constitutional 90% silver is going for right now. $22 is pretty much the standard at the moment. Um, I didn't pick much up. All he had was dimes and quarters and only a few half dollars. And he had some other stuff. He had an angle hard prospector. I was going to pick that one up, but I decided, you know, I have a bunch of angle hard prospector rounds and I just love the Libertads. You know, I, I don't buy them when they are extremely high premiums. 
uh, only when I can get them at a decent price. So the fact that I could get these for, you know, $31 or so, I think that was an awesome steal. And I love these as well. Uh, he charged me $31 for this one as well, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I typically can get things like this uh, for, you know, right at spot price uh, from some of my coin shops that sell me foreign silver uh, for spot. So, you know, this paying 31 bucks for it, it's not a big deal. It is a really cool coin, and that's pretty much what they sell for. That's the going price, around $30 to $32 for those. So that's not bad. I just picked it up because I don't have many of these. Uh, I actually have one more sitting here. This, uh, this is one that I had for a while. This one's in great shape. This is a 1980. So now I have an 80 and a 79. This one's a little bit nicer, but what are you going to do? So I was definitely excited to at least go to uh, one coin shop while I was out on the road. Uh, you know, we had to go out to Columbus, Ohio for some for to do a job and had a little bit of downtime. So I was able to hit up an LCS and it was a lot of fun. The guy was very nice. We had a good conversation and I was able to pick up some really nice Libertads. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoy checking out my latest silver pickups. You know, I pretty much like to uh, go to coin shops or antique shops or, you know, anywhere where I can find silver, whether I'm home or just on a short little road trip or even out of state or, you know, traveling. I always try to hit up a coin shop in the area just to see what they have, see what kind of prices they do and, you know, how they treat different types of silver. You know, some coin shops you know, put high premiums on some of these coins like Libertad's or American Silver Eagles. You know, sometimes they put higher premiums on those. I like to see what different coin shops are selling their uh, constitutional silver for. I'm always looking for world silver, foreign silver coins, or anything unique. You know, you never know what you're going to find at these different shops. You know, some, some people have different opinions on the way they should price certain pieces of bullion or numismatic coins. So it's really fun to see the different ways that, uh, you know, these different coin shops price their stuff. So like I said, I was able to pick up some Libertad's and Anonza for a great deal, and I was definitely excited about that. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out my latest pickups. Please smash that like button. If you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.